Harris coming in, led by Marner. Tries to put on the brakes, hit by Toronto native Jake Evans. Riley, wrist shot in traffic. Marner in front battling. Tees up, scores! As Brooks buries it, follows up nicely. Adam Brooks has a goal, and the Leafs are on the board. Good finish from Adam Brooks. Put it upstairs. Nice job by Mitch Marner, getting in front of the net and battling along with Richie. You don't often see him there screening, working for loose pucks, but this line has been so much more noticeable here in the second period. And it's Mitch Marner gets body position on a much larger David Savard, knocks him off balance. Look at this, backs into him, corrals the puck, and then the pass in tight is what he's known for. Pulling can't track it through the bodies, and the Maple Leafs are on the board. Maybe, as Montreal is contemplating a challenge on this one. As Dom Ducharme is... Challenge the goal for offside. Oh, offside. Well, you don't challenge offside unless you know it's offside, right, Brian? Like this, you don't guess on these ones. So I'm guessing Dom Ducharme has a look that... Rewinding it to the... To the... To the keep? So a chance in the preseason to try everything out, right, including here we these. Go. Now remember, they changed the rule, the vertical plane, that, that is not offside. That's not offside on any, for anyone in that picture. I don't know where Adam Brooks is on the far side. The foot no longer has to be on the ice, Brian. Think of it as, as, as like a football game, a vertical plane. You can have your foot in the air as long as it's over top the blue. It's neither Richie or Martyr. It's, I think it's Brooks on the far side. Trying to find a look at him. <laughs> He's thinking, come on now. Keep me onside or don't give them a good look. I want I want the goal. But this offsides generally now are not challenged unless they're going to be reversed because you don't want to take a risk of a penalty. And if you have a look, you make the call, and it should be a simple one as Ryan Daisy, Middle Quinn take a look at the replay. Yeah, here's the high wide. Okay, there's Brooks dragging his foot. Watch his left foot. Now that it doesn't have to be on the ice. It could be in the air. The puck has to be across the blue line, all the way across the blue line. And it looks, I mean, is the blade, is the blade of the left foot touching the blue ice? I can't tell from this angle, but that's where it is. If that foot is over top in the offensive zone while the puck's touching the blue, it would be reversed. Tough to tell from that angle, Brian. And both benches are now saying, okay, it's preseason for everyone, but let's get on with it. Make a call and let's keep her moving. Brooks got to play a couple games versus the Habs in the first round in the playoffs. No points, but man, what a final season in the WHL. 130 points, 43 goals with Regina when he was the captain. And he looks good when he plays with good players. He's, you know, he's not the biggest, but he's just a crafty offensive player. And you saw the kind of hands he has in tight as he's hoping his goal counts. Here's our definitive look as he's nursing the cut he got earlier in the game. Okay. And I can't see the... At that... <laughs> I think we're all for three. Yeah. Uh, it's... <laughs> At that moment right there, if the puck is in the offensive zone, it's a goal. If it's touching the blue paint, it is not. That's all I can tell you, Brian. Until I see it any clearer than that. At least they've made their decision. They'll have to re-rack the clock if it is not a goal as well. Okay, here we go. Carter Sandlack with the word. After video review, it was determined that the play was offside. We have no goal. And not surprising. I mean, Dom Ducharme, he's got a great staff around him. They